Have you had this happen? You take things out of the dryer and they're stuck together by static electricity? It may be hard to believe, but this shows arguably the most important concept in all of chemistry. How charged objects interact and the energy and force with which they interact is the subject of the second module of our course. In the first module, we talked about atoms and moles and introduced the first pillar of chemistry, how atoms live on a different scale than we do. In this module, we will look at charges interacting with each other and how they interact with an electric field. The second pillar of chemistry relates to the force and energy of these interactions and how energy is the key to understanding any number of things we observe in chemistry. It's important to note that when charge objects interact, there's a force associated with that interaction. In the case of my laundry, it's actually an attractive force that makes it stick together. Now there's also an energy associated with this scenario. I can pull this apart, it's not hard, but it requires some energy to do so. The point is that there's both a force and an energy involved. Now, why would we rely on ideas of physics in a chemistry course? Well, the answer, of course, is that sciences are not isolated from one another. They rely on one another. And we're going to borrow a concept called Coulomb's Law from physics. Now, in this module, Coulomb's Law will govern not only the interaction of charges, but the interaction of a charge with an external electrical field, and this will lead to the discovery of the electron.